We've come back to London South East Classic Club now, and this is big race day. This is the Poe Classic. Well, it's Thursday lunch time and we've arrived in Poe and it's a carbon copy of last year with blue skies, sunshine and baking heat. How's this for a wonderful shot? This is Poe with the Pyrenees Mountains up behind. There's 800 pigeons in the convoy and things looking very promising for an early liberation tomorrow morning. Most of the club members in the London and South East Classic Club fly 550 miles from Poe and if these weather conditions continue tomorrow many day pigeons are expected. It took us 22 hours to get to Poe and en route the birds were rested and watered at Poor Tears. It's 5 o'clock on Friday morning and we've woken up to a wonderful, wonderful morning. The sky is as clear as a bell and the weather forecast throughout France is fantastic. Poe Classic birds are up at 5.30 in a light south wind. Members enjoyed a first class race from Poe and there's 22 pigeons recorded on the day. Today we come to Bedfordshire to visit the winning loft. This is Gordon Robinson, a Dunstable. Good morning Robbo. Good morning Keys. Congratulations on winning the Classic last week. What's your feelings about it? Thank you very much. Uh, Absolutely over the moon. Been striving for this sort of race for years. Yeah. And now I've proved they can do it. You must be one of the longest flying members up here, aren't you? Yep. Uh, 590 miles, 378 yards. Yeah, brilliant. What time do you clock? 7... 7.50. Yeah, it's a good race. 10 to 8. Do you like these sort of races? Yeah, love it. What long distance? It does get a bit tedious waiting for them, but when you get a result like this, yeah. It makes it all worthwhile. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. This is your classic wearing in Gordon. Yes. How was he sitting when he went to Poe? He was uh, sitting about seven days. Eggs. Eggs. Yeah. What was his build up to the race? Well, he's had near enough every club race up to a fortnight before. And then uh, when the birds came back from Nantes, they were given their hens and the hens stayed with them. Yeah. So it got them down on eggs a week for the... So they're natural pigeon? No, they've been flown part, uh, widowed. Yeah, and what, just paired up for Poe? Just paired up for this race. Yeah, what strain is he? He's 90% Schumann. Yeah, that's the old American strain, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, I've persevered with them and they come well on the distance. Yeah, lovely pigeon, mate. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's proved it for me that they can do it. How long have you been a sport then, Golden? Uh, since I was about 10 or 11 years old, Keith. Yes, yeah, long time, mate. Yep. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I've felt like giving up, but yeah. um, keep on rocking, you know? Yeah. What system you race your birds? Uh, at the moment, 
this year I had them on widowed up until Nance and then I've left the hens with them since. Yeah. They were flying well on widowed but uh, no competition for the spring birds in the club. No. How many old birds you keep? Try to keep about 24 pair, which uh, is enough at times. Yeah, do you keep stock birds? A few, just three or four pair. Yeah. How about training your birds? What train you give them? Well, while they was on widow, they weren't trained at all. I no. mean, prior to uh, the early, while they was paired up in initially. Yeah. Um, when did you pair them up? They were paired up this year, earlier than usual, over the Christmas week while I was off work. Yeah. These are a few of those old birds. I must say, they certainly look well. Gordon Robinson of Dunstable, the 1998 Poe Classic winner.